night's sleep of my life and it's not great timing because I've got quite a big challenge coming up today and uh, I need to be on good form but I'm not feeling good <laughs> I'm feeling terrible hopefully the long drive will sort me out I've just had my breakfast two bits of toast with jam um, some pH and I'll probably have a banana as well see how I'm feeling and then yeah, I'm making my way, quite a long way, kind of the other side of the country, really, to do a challenge with Joe Skipper. And this challenge is to run from his house in Norwich to his parents' house in Lowestoft. Lowestoft? Lowestoft? I have no idea. Um, which is 50k. And he wants to do it in under three hours. Now, just to put that into perspective for you, that's 335 pace per kilometer for 50 kilometers. So that's a 115 half marathon. So obviously a 230 full marathon. After the marathon, obviously you're at 42K. So he's got an extra 8K at the back end of a 230 marathon. What? <laughs> and we're gonna go and we're gonna join in we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> so I've got to say right now, this is all for your viewing pleasure. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed or liked this video, please go and do that now because in however many hours I'm gonna be in a complete world of pain and it will make it worth it if you guys have subscribed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pan of chocolate, bananas. Definitely need some of those. <laughs> So off I go on my five hour car journey towards Joe's house in Norwich and I can't help but wonder what normal people are doing during their break between Christmas and New Year. Oh well, it's a bit late to pull out now isn't it? Seems to be making good progress, first stop of the day, I'm stopping near St Albans um, near London and I wasn't going to have a coffee because sometimes like before I run it can kind of make my stomach go a bit funny but um, I'm having to commit to a flat white purely because um, I'm falling asleep at the wheel this is really dangerous uh, I, like I said I had a terrible night's sleep last night I've been really struggling to stay awake like playing really loud music putting the aircon on pinching myself slapping myself in the face coffee last resort um, and I'm also going to have stuff to eat because I ate that toast and um, banana earlier, but we're not running until like 12.30, so I've still got like three hours. So what I'm having is my overnight oats. In here, I have got oats, apple juice, natural Greek yogurt, and some raisins and sultanas. It's quite a healthy big portion. I probably won't finish all of it, but I'm going to have some of that, get some good carbs in, um, and it's about three three and a bit hours until we're going to start the run so i'm still going to have some stuff as well up until about two and a half hours so i've got like bananas um neutral grain bars stuff like that and then i'll have the last kind of toilet stop <laughs> before the run um in a few hours or so once all of that has kind of gone through me sounds disgusting but i want to make sure that i don't um have any stomach issues on the run so that's where we're at now and joe's probably still in bed I'm not jealous. <laughs> All right, let's get us down. Let's crack on with the journey, yeah? Finally, after four and a half hours, we have arrived, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. Just waiting for Joe to come out and show me if I need to park anywhere different. But yeah, we are here. It's pretty wet. It's pretty miserable, but it should be a fun day. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, Joe, we're going to go through um, Hales? Hales, yeah. So it's a bit of a road. yeah, so it's a bit of a busier I've road. But Strava link, because I had, but I couldn't work it out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll um, 
and then in the car, you two can uh, maybe you, you like uh, either like Tyler could go with my dad or could go with you. My dad could be there supporting us. And then if anyone wants any, if you if you're with your dad, you could always just go back and forth to get like pictures and stuff and do what you want. And my dad can just be there with the bottles, like and just yeah. handing them out or whatever, you know, to you if we need them or something. Might... Or being behind us, so cars don't like so they know what's going on. Yeah. Because like, you don't want. Sort of, <laughs> Hard day at the office for Harry. Well in Harry. <laughs> Hard day at the office. Yeah, would not recommend. <laughs> oh, I don't know how he does it. Oh, and we're back. I have been in the car for five hours. <laughs> I've literally just walked through the door. So that's 10 hours of driving the last two days. And I'm so tired. And Lydia and I are going to Lydia's parents tonight in Wales. So that's another three hours. <laughs> Not looking forward to that, but what a day yesterday. Really good experience. It's actually the first time I've met Joe. Um, I've known him like through social media and that, but um, I've never actually met the guy in person. He's such a nice bloke, really good guy, and he absolutely crushed it. So I thought I'd go a through a little bit of a debrief now and talk through the challenge and, you know, what the results were, basically. So, 50k run from his house in Norwich to his parents' house in Lowestoft is about 50k it's not crazy flat, but it's it's flat enough. Had a bit of a tailwind, which was really nice. And Joe wanted to go sub three hours, which, as I mentioned previously, is crazy. I mean, that's 115 pace for the half. It's 230 pace for the marathon. And to then have a further 8K at that pace is just a joke. It's crazy. Now, from the title of this video, you will assume that I was going for the full 50. However... I was not. I was only intending on doing the first bit and then the last bit with Joe as well. The reason for that is, one, it's a crazy challenge and Joe is just built different and I know I wouldn't be able to do the 50 anyway, um, the marathon, let alone the 50. Um, and two, I'm not in the right place to do that anyway right now. I haven't been training for it. And to be honest, just pushing myself to the complete limit I'd end up, you know, risking injury, illness, and that's not somewhere I want to be right now. I want to get back into training as quickly as possible, use it as a bit of a training event, and um, get back into training, keep it consistent, and keep it motoring towards next season. So that's the reason why I didn't do the whole thing, and I didn't go to, like, complete exhaustion, but I did work pretty hard. So I did the first 23 kilometers. We went through the 21.1 uh, kilometer, so the half marathon in just over 114, so it was really good, got some time in the bank, then I dropped off after 23k, so I did a, another extra k after the half marathon, Joe was absolutely storming, he was amazing, um, I got into Joe's dad's car, and just, my quads just cramped up, and <laughs> I had to sit there, like, rubbing my legs in front of Joe's dad, it was, yeah, it was quite funny, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, sat in the car for a bit, refueled, um, the heater was on and I really didn't want to get out again, I'll be honest with you, but it was kind of the last 7K and I was like, you know what, screw it, let's get out and let's just help Joe because he's probably going to be suffering a little bit and I probably felt worse than Joe in the last 7K, I'm not going to lie. I started again and my legs did not want to move, it felt horrible, just so bad and, but yeah, I, I managed to keep it going, sort of, and then Joe kind of dropped me in the last K Um it was more like I dropped off rather than Joe picking up the pace. He just like he kept it really consistent and I just felt terrible. So I just dropped off and walked a little bit. But yeah, all in all, really good training day. It was 30K worth of effort. All the Ks were there or thereabouts 335. Some of them were below 330. Some of them were a little bit above 335. But really good training day. 30K at that sort of pace. Really good for me. Um, obviously, I do want to build towards the Ironman next year so I need to keep upping my distance and upping the the intensity at distance if that sort of makes sense but it's still early days and I'm still you know I'm still developing that so it was it was awesome to be 
in the presence of Joe because he is one of the best Ironman athletes in the world. Like you can't argue against that. He's just, he's an absolute machine. So it was so cool to, to actually witness that because he did the 50K in two hours and 57 minutes, which is crazy. It's so, so mad. And then it was really nice to be at Joe's parents' house. They've got a lovely B&B on the, on the seafront. It's actually really, really, really nice. Um, I had one of the best showers I've ever had in my life there. His mum cooked up some amazing soup. Can't remember what the ingredients were, but it tasted bloody good. And yeah, his dad was his dad was amazing all day. So thanks so much to Joe's parents for having us at the end. Thanks so much to Joe for having me for the uh, the challenge. Well done, mate. You absolutely crushed it. And we'll have to catch up and, and do a few more of these uh, these little challenges. Maybe next time I can hold on for a bit longer. <laughs> I'm sure you've all seen Joe's video before coming to this one, but if you haven't, please do go and check out Joe's video. I'll link it in the description below. And if you're new to the channel, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done already. I am planning some really cool things with some other creators as well, and just building towards next season as well. So if you wanna get involved with the, the journey, if you wanna get involved with the channel, please do subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next video.